another tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you specifically how to upload a picture to your blog. So in sixth grade, we're making these beautiful graphs um, to visualize our data and see what our data is doing here at Chimicum Creek. One thing I uh, haven't showed you is that if you make your chart longer, this, this gets spread out so it looks a little better. Um, let's see, I'm going to go a little farther here and move it over here, make it a little longer. Uh, might help have it look just a little better. Look at that. And it makes the line almost look straight, which is actually means the data is pretty accurate. If, if for pH things were way high or way low, as you're going to learn when the pH teams teach what pH is, that would be bad. But you've got this gorgeous graph, and you want to put it on your blog. So when you click on it, remember, you, you click away, and you're, you've got other stuff going on. But you click back on it, and it brings up either chart one or the title that I have right here. Um, I want to get that down and netbook people. You really have to have this hand point with a finger like it is here. Hand pointer. So you can get down to this menu. And you're going to want save image. Now on an iPad and the netbook, um, it, it goes a little different. Here at the bottom, it's got my image saved. So if I open up my hard drive, and I go to, for me, it's Al Gonzalez. For you, it's um, period 1, period 2, period 3, period 4. You go into Downloads, and there mine is right at the top. <clears throat> so it has my title, and yours might be Chart 1, or Chart 2, or Chart 3, dot PNG. That's the picture. But it's on my computer. If I do it on my iPad, it's going to be on my photo album. If I do it in my netbook, it's going to be on the netbook. I need to get it on my blog. So I'm going to open up a new tab here. And I'm going to go to the Moodle. And this is something you just have to remember. It's the Class FTP Info. Right here. Class FTP Info. This has all the information you're going to need. I'm going to bring up Fetch. Oops. That was Picasa, not Fetch. And when Fetch loads, you can type in the information that's on the Class FTP Info website. Type it in exactly as you see there to log in to our Class FTP account. And if you have this public HTML or something there, it'll probably look like this, but make sure nothing is typed if it does show. Let me get rid of Picasa, because I didn't want it anyway. Now, this part you should recognize. You're going to go into Images. Sound Files is for Sound Files. Videos is for Videos, so we want to double-click on Images. And if you Put your file in the wrong place, I'm just going to clean it up. So I'm going to go delete that. Let's see. And don't you delete stuff. Just leave that up to me. Let's keep each other's files safe. <clears throat> so I'm going to pick period 2. And I'm going to pick uh, G1. But you pick your period, your team, and you're going to upload the file that you have on your iMac that you download it and you do that by going to put. When you go to put you're going to look for your file and you got to go into scroll down where I just did look for period whatever period you're in. For me it's uh, the Al Gonzalez folder. It's the one with the little house. That's your home folder and you're going to look for downloads. And whatever you called it, if it's chart one or your name, uh, it's in alphabetical order, so look for it. And when you find it, you're going to click on put. 
Now make sure it's your file and your chart. When you click on put, it uploads it. There, there it is right there. That's half the battle. You're halfway there now. Now you go back here and it tells you what to type in to find that file you just uploaded. It starts with educatoral.com, then slash rm604, images, remember, it's in images, period, whatever period you chose, it's like it says right there, and it even explains everything, so read it if you forget or if you're not watching this video. Of course, if you're not watching this video, you didn't hear that. So I'm going to choose period 2 in G1 because that's where I put it, and hey, there it is. Click on it, and it should show up. Once it shows up, that URL right here, highlight it, copy it, that's what you want. That's how you're going to put it on your blog. Alrighty, so I'm going to pause this here and uh, show you how it's done on a netbook and an iPad. So, But I want to show specifically. So I'm going to take this graph and I'm going to do the same thing I did on the iMac. I'm going to click on it, go up here till the hand becomes a pointing finger and I'm going to save image. Now what we have found the hard way is you have to do open or open with. Some choose open with if you're on Firefox, uh, otherwise it'll do open. But save file always gives an error, so we're just going to open with. Now if you're open with, you have to go to file, make a copy. Okay and it's going to go into the pictures library and you just give it your name. Okay, I just put name because I don't want to really give this one my name. It's not mine. And I'm going to save it. Now if you're not using Firefox and yours just shows up on like a web page, you're going to have to do a right click. A right click. Uh, if you look at the buttons here, this is a regular click on the left. This is a right click. The right click brings up a menu. And for this one, it doesn't have it. It just has open with, open file location, copy, delete properties. But if you're on uh, Internet Explorer, I think, or Chrome, it's going to say save picture as or save image as. That's the one you want. Okay. So now we've saved it. Now I mentioned that the program that works like fetch on here, and I'm going to quit this, is called Core FTP. If you don't see the Core FTP icon here, here's how you get it. Go to your start menu, go to computer, go into the hard drive, OS, and it says C in parentheses. Double click that. You're going to go into Program Files, and normally I don't want you going in here, so if you don't have to do this, don't do it. Try not to mess with these machines so that we can all share them. But here's the folder, right there. It says Core and FTP in capital letters. What you're going to look for when it loads is the word Core FTP in all lowercase with that blue circle with a white line running through it. Now I'm going to do that right click, like I did just showed you for um, the picture. Only this time I'm going to choose send to and I want send to desktop. See it says create shortcut. I want a shortcut on my desktop. And look what it did. It put it there. Now I have a shortcut here to core FTP. Now if you do this for the first time you're gonna select yes twice. You only have to do that the first time, never again. So if you're first, you're the unlucky one. Now that you're here, you're going to name this site. I call it Class FTP, and the host name is ftp.educatoral.com. Username RM604. 
educatorowl.com password you guys know where to find it now here's the good news unless you're the first one to do this once this is done it's going to remember it you don't have to do this every single time so if you want to put another picture on your blog later you've already got this done now this went pretty fast but it did some stuff there and the way you know it worked is it it will say transferred and it'll show here images sound files videos yay that's what we want well i'm going to go into images to upload my picture i'm going to go into period two again i'm going to go into g1 again that's like my test account look there's the last picture i put in there now i want to put one in there from here well it's not here so i'm going to have to go up and look for let's see if it went into downloads I don't see it in downloads. Oh, it went in pictures. I remember now. So, let's see, I'm going to go into documents. Not documents, it must be just... There it is, pictures. So sometimes you have to look around. There's the one I called it name. So I'm going to click on it to select it. Then i got to go for this arrow here that's pointing this way, so it can go from here to here. What I'm doing, by doing that is uploading so i have just uploaded that to there now what you do after this is exactly the same as in the imac video so go back to the imac video and watch that because this is the only part that's different here so once i close this it'll say you sure you want to exit i'm like okay and you're done and it's gone and that concludes this part of the tutorial well this is part three of that tutorial I started with the iMac on how to upload your pictures uh, to put on your blog. The second one, I showed you how to do it uh, in a, using the netbook, showed you the part that's different. Now I want to show you on an iPad, um, just so you can see again, because I have it in some other video, but you can see in this one again how it's different. Well, when you first go into the Google Docs, the Chimicum Google Docs. See the csd49.org that tells you you're in the Chimicum Google Docs. It always shows it in the mobile view. We want to choose desktop view. And sometimes you have to tap it again until it says, oh, you're serious. Now everyone always gets confused for this next window. They're like, what do I do? And they go back to the mobile view. It didn't come up. But if it says go to desktop version, that's the one you want. Desktop version. Don't go to mobile view again. That's where you were, and it wasn't very good, and you didn't really like it. Now let's pick somebody, somebody's data here. Let's go to, let's look at Hallie's data, see if she's done and got a graph. So we're in this view again, which, eh, not very helpful. Let's go to spreadsheet view. There's where it is, see? You get thrown off by that one. Don't go to, mo don't return. That's where you just were, continue. There, you don't even need to remember mobile and desktop. Remember, return, and continue. So let's see if she's got a graph here. La -dee -da. And I don't know if she has one, but sometimes you know it takes a while for it to load. And then it says working. I know. I, I tell you guys, patience and perseverance, and we'll get by. The iPad has a lot of great uses, um, but its shortcomings are very annoying and frustrating. But I'm sure Apple's working on all this stuff. Right, Apple? Be nice if we could get some fixed ones. All right, there's the graph. Now, just like in the iMac and the netbook, I have to select it so I can see chart one or the name you provided. Then I bring down the drop down menu and I go to save image. Now look what it does here. It opens up a whole new page. And some of you are probably thinking, I'm just going to copy that. I know. I thought of it too. We've tried it. It doesn't work. So you're going to tap and hold on this until this comes up. Save image. Save image. You want to save image. Now if it worked, my image should be in the photo album. So let me check. Photo. Photos. Just making sure it's there so I can upload it. And there it is. All right, there's Hallie's graph. 
missing a few labels and some color could be brighter, but we'll use it. All right, now here's the trick. To upload it, you need to go to what? That's right, FTP view. There it is, you type FTP, it shows up. Go to FTP view. Now what you type there is the same stuff and some of you are really good at this and you've done it a few times so you can know what you're doing. Um, but if you're new to this FTP view, keep watching. This part's the same on the iMac and the netbook. We're going to type ftp.educator.com. The username is rm604 at educator. We've got to put the dot here. <laughs> That's old. Dot com. And then the password is written on that website. You know where to look if you forget, but it's pretty easy to remember. Done. Well, what are you going to do now? You're going to connect. Connecting to server. Now this part, again, common sense. Pick where you want to put it. Don't just put it in here. Go to images. And I'm going to go to period two again. I'm going to go to G1 again. There's the other two I put up. And I'm going to put up a new one. See the camera down here? Can you see that? There's a picture of a camera right down here. And you're going to select that. And look, it takes you to the photo albums. You go to Saved Photos. You select the one you want to upload. Give it a name. Halley FR for Flow Rig. Eh, this one I gave it a name. The last one I didn't. Oh, well. Live and learn. Then I'm going to go to return. Look what it says. Do you want to upload the file? Well, duh. Why do you think I did all this? I mean, some things are obvious. If it says upload complete, you're good to go. It's there. The next part of this, go back to the iMac tutorial, go to the very end. It's the same thing. Okay. And by now, if you've done this a few times, you'll know what I'm talking about. So that concludes this tutorial. Okay, so now that you've got the pictures ready to put on your blog, log into your blog, whether you're on an iMac, a netbook, or an iPad. Go to your account, go to log in, log in as usual. Now remember, in the last iMac one, we copied the URL of our picture. Do that in the netbook and in the iPad too. When you log in, go to Articles, and you're going to start a new article, or go to the one that you already started. And remember, if you're on Graphical View, on a netbook, or on uh, an iMac, um, you get to insert the picture easier. If you're on Text View, on an iPad, remember you have to put the image code. So give it a title and make sure if you're on graphical view get rid of that. You don't want that there. You want to put your own caption in your own writing. But this is the button you click on to insert slash edit image. Remember this is iMac and netbook only. When this comes up, you're going to paste. Remember, we copied that URL. Now we paste it. And then we're going to choose, normally you choose a width of 400. Let's see if this works. Remember, we made this one long. And eh, it's a little small, a little hard to read. So I'm going to click on it and go to Edit, which is that same. And I'm going to make it a little bigger, just so you can read it, so people can see it. Ooh. Well, that's way too big. So a height of 300 didn't work. 760, way too long. Remember, four to 500 is about as big as you want to go. So let's do 550. I know it's a little bigger than what I said, but this is a special picture. It's long. You know, this is OK. It's readable. So then, right under it, you can type your caption explaining to the world whoever looks at your graph 
how you got that data and what it means. These are important. So please, always put a caption on your graph and any picture you choose. And if it's not yours, you have to make sure you got it from a website where you got permission to use it. From that drop-down menu, choose the uh, assignment. This one is Water Quality, Final Conclusion, and Data. Then click on Request Publishing and Save. And you're done. This is how we do it. I do want to show you on text view, uh, if you're on an iPad, very similar. You'd put a title, uh, but instead of pasting the link, you have to actually do the image tag. So you start with this, then IMG for image, space. Remember the space, SRC equals open quotes, now paste, close quotes. Do a space, and I'm just reminding you here, you got to have the quotations around the URL that you pasted. Then you got to put the width equals, same thing with quotes. Remember we made it 550. And then you got to remember, people always forget the quotes or they forget this final little uh, angle bracket, which looks like a greater than or less than sign. Then you type your caption. See? Just like this. Now, it's not all that hard. You do it once or twice, you'll get it. And you'll be able to do it on an iPad. iPads, they're useful for a lot of things. And the more things we can use them for, the better. So there you go. That's how you put this on your blog. So hopefully, everyone will be successful now. And if you go to graphical view, even on the iPad, you can check to make sure your code worked. You may not be able to do anything from graphical view, but if you see your graph, you know you got the code right. So that's pretty cool. Try that. Okay, well, good luck.